Now, this is the perfect story because me and Anne are geeks, aren't we? Yes. We love so. our science. Mm. And if your son or daughter is a keen scientist, perhaps they're struggling a little bit to get encouragement in the field. Well, there's a new UK scheme hoping to reward the next generation of scientists, engineers and inventors. Yeah, it's called the Big Bang UK Young Scientists and Engineers Competition. And it aims to recognise and reward young people's achievements in all areas of science. Well, today we are delighted to welcome the 2022 Young Engineer of the Year, Avi Kulut, who joins us. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Why, first and foremost, why have you been interested in science? So I've been interested in kind of science, technology, engineering and maths um, from kind of like a young age of just um, going along to different events and like the Science Museum and different technology workshops and events. And from gradually going to all these different um, events, I've just been really interested in my knowledge and, and passion and interest has just grown and grown and grown. Wow. How old are you now? Um, I'm 14 now. Oh, nine. Congratulations again. So... So, you've brought in this amazing thing. What is it? You have to explain to us, please. So, this is my pavilion, um, which I entered for the Big Bang competition. And um, basically, it's a, an air quality project. So, it reacts to the CO2 levels inside the pavilion. So, it's a scaled-down model of what a real um, life-size pavilion could be. And my aim um, for it is to be installed into different locations to provide um, space and healthy indoor air quality solutions. Um, yeah. So, so, so what is this? it measures the CO2 yeah. in the air and, and then does what? So it measures the CO2 levels inside the pavilion and depending on whether they're high or low, um, features around the pavilion will activate. So, for example, at the front, there's a front shutter wall. There's a sliding skylight on the top. Which is what we can hear. Is that what we can hear Yeah, sliding? that's what you can hear right now. And then at the back is the back shutter wall, which also opens and closes as well. Fantastic. So this would be a great big life-size place. Yeah, that's the aim, yeah. Yeah, but, but it's, uh, the environment would all be sort of uh, uh, automatically controlled. Yeah, yeah. For at least for air quality. So you've got some plants there, but you might imagine big trees and yeah. enormous floral arrangements and things like that. Yeah. And the idea is to keep the air quality good for humans or plants um for so humans so the users who would actually be using the space inside the pavilion yeah right um, um i mean look in in all of this i mean it's, it's a great idea but what about the technology behind it it's mm -hmm. it's one thing to come up with an idea to yeah. say yes we need to do so and it would automatically regulate it with these openings and shutters and what have you but how did you get your head around the technology needed to detect co2 in this sort of way so obviously, as you said, you have to think about the idea. So after the idea, I started thinking what functions did I actually want to happen around the pavilion. So I started thinking about opening and closing mechanisms. So that got me to think about using different types of motors. And then motors obviously need to be programmed. So I used um, something called CircuitPython, which I used to program all the different um, electronic components around the pavilion. Um, so, yeah. So you've got a little readout here. Yeah. And that's giving you a readout of different parts of the pavilion and what their levels are. Yeah, so at the top, you might not be able to see it, but it's got the it CO2 up? levels, yeah. and then it goes down to um, added features like temperature, humidity, and like the battery level. So there's a little computer in here somewhere? Yeah, there's um, a microcontroller in there. A microcontroller, which yeah. you have programmed. Yeah. Um, and where are the sensors? Are they in... So the sensors are actually inside. So the CO2 sensor is what picks up, um, obviously, the CO2, and that's what triggers everything to react, depending on whether it's high or low enough. What does surprise mean to you, though? I don't know what, to, in terms of, I, mean, I don't know if you get money or, or scholarships or whatever, but, but in terms of encouragement that it, that it gives you to move forward. Um, I would definitely say that the, um, winning the Big Bang um, Young Engineer of the Year Awards definitely empowered me to keep going and to keep um, getting myself involved in making these different projects and immersing myself in um, different STEM-based subjects and to potentially go on to have a career in STEM as well. So I definitely say it's given me a really big um, platform and it's given me kind of mm. the encouragement to speak um, about my project and to... Um, get involved in other cool projects and ideas that I think of later on as well. What are you working on at the moment? So at the moment, so I have my organisation called Girls Into Coding, where I... Girls Into Coding. Yeah, yeah, where I engage girls and they come along to events and um, different workshops and events and they get involved in different STEM-based activities. So one thing I would definitely like to work on is um, transferring the pavilion into an even more scaled-down model to be actually able to use um, at my events as well. 
to, um, so kind of used as an educational tool to other young people. See, one day that could be a dome, not a pavilion, and it could yeah, be maybe. on the moon or Mars. Or something. Yeah. A controlled oh. environment. But you wouldn't want to open the windows on the... Well, you wouldn't the open the windows, no. no. You'd have to control it I tell you what, though, inside it's, a dome. It is hugely impressive. It really you are is. You are hugely impressive. And, and what's a nice, confident young lady. Too, yeah, it, it? it looks yeah. Yeah. fab. It's it fantastic. Really it is really good to meet you. Congratulations, Thank you Zappy. so much. Love spread the word. That. Go on spreading the word about girls in engineering, because it can be done, and it's obviously being done. Brilliant. Oh, I love that. So clever.